The ISTAR 900 is a two-in-one device. It provides you with modern biometry for all kinds of cataract procedures, but also lens exchange procedure can be planned with it. And you get all the information needed for screening of corneal ectasia with refractive surgeons and also for corneal diagnostics. One measurement you do and you get every, all the information aggregated in one printout. You don't have to move the patient from one to a second device. Within 40 seconds, every technician can take all these high quality measurements without any hassles. We start with one measurement, then you have the biometry, the keratometry, we have the topography. So on the first screen, you see that's a good Tory candidate. Then it enables you to go in there, dig deeper in, and also to educate the patient. I mean, we all know nowadays, Dr. Google is everywhere. So there might be a patient that comes into your office, says, I want to have this multifocal, blah, 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 whatever lens. And you see on the first hand, he's not a candidate because he's got a whole lot of asymmetry on his cornea. So we have here, for example, the Cernicke analysis, which enables the surgeon to tell the patient where does the vision imperfection come from. He can show them on the map how an astigmatism looks or it doesn't look like, and he sees on the vision simulation what he can expect. So here, for example, we have a nice astigmatic patient, and I can tell them, well, we see the slopes here. You have a little bit of asymmetry top down, but when we do a toric, it improves your vision, which we see right now here. At night, because of the asymmetries, you still have some remaining glare but that's okay. And then he can even go further and say, well, we have the night situation, but you can also switch to day. We reduce the pupil and at daylight, you will have a perfect vision. And then the patient got the level of his expectation set at the right level. And he knows why he invests in a premium IOL. When you do the measurements with the iStar, you have not only to rely on numbers. So if you do a standard Biometry for cataract applications, you often get axial length, case, and that's it. When you have this information, you can already say, well, there's astigmatism, so I might go for a premium IOL, but you have to rely on the number only. With the iStar, you have the topographic information, which allows you to judge the symmetry and the regularity of the astigmatism. On the other hand, you also have the OCT information of the anterior chamber, but also back to the retina. So if there would be something special there, it would also be uh, displayed and easily depict. Furthermore, in the iStar, we are featuring for the cataract application, the Hill RBF formula. And that's right now the only formula on the market that provides you with additional information. Not only it's a 22 diopter IOL you have to implant, but it also tells you there's going to be a 95% confidence interval that's going to be within plus and minus half a diopter year outcome. Or, hey, be careful. The data you're presenting me is so unusual. You should be careful and review it because there's a chance that something is not normal with this patient and therefore the prediction is not that accurate.